everyone, it's Marissa from bumblebeeapothecary.com and today I'm going to bring you along while I make fermented fish. So fermented fish is a really nutrient dense traditional food. It's also one of the foods that Dr. Natasha includes on stage two of the GAPS introduction diet. And I know that way back when I did GAPS for the first time over 10 years ago, this is one of the things that I did not do at that time. I think I was under kind of the thought process that the intro diet foods, when they're added, are like, you can have this now. And if it wasn't something that you really felt uh, led to go do right that moment, it was like kind of optional. But I have come to understand as time has gone on that Dr. Natasha includes all of those foods in the GAPS introduction diet with specific purposes and it is really best to go ahead and add them because they do certain things. So fermented fish is one of those. It is also a really fantastic way that you can travel with food like a little lunch type of a thing. It doesn't need to be refrigerated. There are a couple different recipes for this that fit with the GAPS diet. There are recipes in Dr. Natasha's GAPS books, both the yellow one and the blue one, and also in Dr. Becky Plotner's book. So they're very, very similar. Dr. Becky Plotner's version where it's in little jars, Dr. Natasha has you do it in a pan. But I like the jar one because that's so convenient to be able to bring along when you need to bring it along somewhere. So let's go ahead and jump in and start putting this together. For fish, it needs to be wild caught salmon that is very high quality and very, very fresh. So I'm in landlocked Colorado and I went ahead and ordered some salmon from Vital Choice. I'll have a link to them down below. This was a really good option for me. I went ahead and got this particular one. It's actually been quickly seared, so it's not 100% raw, but it still fits within the raw um, qualifications as far as they still have the disclaimers about raw or undercooked food on there. So it's like quickly seared on one side, but still technically raw. Um, and so this is the one that I decided to go with. And you could use totally raw, very fresh salmon. If you live somewhere where that is more easily available, then you'll have an easier time than I did sourcing it and getting it. But this is what I went with. I'll link this exact one down below if you'd like to find it. But basically any very, very fresh, high quality, wild caught salmon will do. You want a filet, a boneless, skinless for this. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and open these and I'm going to put half of each one of these filets in each of these pint sized glass mason jars. These are roughly six ounce portions. When I ordered this, it came frozen. So I let it thaw some. Mm, smells so good. So it's like half frozen at this point. The next thing that I'm going to do is to add one small onion to each jar. And I'm just slicing each onion in half, just because I think that will be nicer. It'll fit a little bit nicer. Next, I'm going to add a teaspoon of peppercorns into each jar. Half a teaspoon of coriander. Next, into each jar, I'm going to put two tablespoons of high quality mineral salt. My favorites are either Celtic sea salt or Baja gold. Next, I'm going to add some local raw honey. You can add up to a quarter of a cup per jar.
Next, we're going to put some bay leaves into each jar, up to five, if I can get them to fit well in there. Next, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of dill. This can either be dill or dill seed, but I just have regular dill, so I'm going to do that. Next, to each jar, I'm going to add two tablespoons of whey. Now, this is whey that I dripped from raw milk kefir. And to do that, you would just take your raw milk kefir or your raw milk yogurt, put it in like a cheesecloth or a linen cloth of some type, type inside a colander and then have a bowl underneath and the whey will drip out. So that's how you get whey for this type of thing. So two tablespoons in each jar. Next, I'm going to add filtered water to fill each jar. Next, I'm going to tightly put a lid on each one of these jars. And then I'm going to let them sit at room temperature out on the counter for three to five days. And after that time, I will move them to the refrigerator and then they'll be ready to enjoy. So like I said, you can bring these along if you need like a quick snack or lunch or something that doesn't need to be refrigerated. Dr. Becky Plotner talks about using it as a travel food. So you can make these at the beginning of your trip and then bring them along and they ferment while you're traveling. So lots of great possibilities there that kind of make things easier when you need to be without refrigeration and it's super nutrient dense and delicious. So I hope that you give this recipe a try and if you do give it a try, leave me a comment and let me know how you liked it. Be sure and check out that description box for links to a lot of the places where I buy the ingredients, including the salmon that I used for this. Also check out that description box for links to free eBooks and other goodies. I also have information down there on my 30 day meal plan for the GAPS diet, my program where I coach people through the GAPS diet and my membership as well. So be sure and check out all those things. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else that you think would find it interesting or helpful. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.